first important step in when you do algorithmic trading or automated trading with, let me clear all the outputs so it looks clean. The first thing that one needs to do is to connect via your, you have to authenticate, and this is done via API keys. So it is basically what we see here. So actually I'm just going, that was what I was using before I was testing and we'll do it together. So how do you create an API key on Hyperliquid? We go on more here and we go on API. So basically we'll do it together. There's something very important here. One, one thing that I like a lot with Hyperliquid is that you never give, if you're doing with a wallet, you never give your private wallet key. You just give the public address and then you come and create this API wallet key that we're going to do here. And it's exactly the same thing if you did like what we did now with connecting with your email address. Anyways, so we're doing it together, together. So I'll just do test. Then we do a generate and I'll do authorize API wallet. One very important thing. So I'm going to put, that's the maximum valid days that you can put. You can choose how, how long you want this key to be valid. But what, before doing authorize, just make sure you copy this private wallet key. So if you come here, then you must come here in the code and then you paste it here. Great. Now the wallet address, that's how CCXT, I haven't mentioned that, that's the only library we are going to be using. It's a super cool Python library that encapsulates hundreds of crypto exchange. So we can use all the methods of CCXT that support, that are supported with Hyperliquid. So it makes things much simpler. Anyways, so wallet address, don't be confused. I mean, it is confusing, but it's not the wallet address that we created here. It's not this one that we want to put. The one that we need is the public address of our account. So we take this up here and then we come down here and paste it. Now, something very important, I'm doing this tutorial and I'm showing you everything, etc. So you're seeing the private key and all of this, but the private key is super sensitive data. You don't want anybody to get that, to see that. I will be deleting my keys after I finish recording the video. So just keep in mind that if somebody gets these keys, you can lose all your money. So just be careful. 